I don't do job titles. Boss, Brandon interviewed. Do, we, do we not say two or one? In five, four, three. I'm from the area here, Southwest Michigan, born and raised in, in St. Joe. I live in the neighboring town of Stevensville. And we're currently in Bridgman at the, the shop I grew up in. Yeah, I was born in St. Joe, Michigan, which is just up the road from here, just north. I'm from Waterfleet, Michigan, so I grew up around here about 20 minutes away. My dad brought me on to work alongside Brandon just to run the shell machines, really, and answer the phones. So I'm from Tupelo, Mississippi, born and raised. I was in commercial banking for 30 plus years. I was a vice president at a local credit union and met Brandon in 2019. I used to be a server at a place called Mason Jar in Benton Harbor. Uh, Brandon was one of my customers that came in just about every morning. <laughs> I met him at one of those golf demo days where you could hit the newest, best club or whatever, and he was there, and we just kind of hit it off from then. Well, it started out, I was actually a customer of his dad's at Ultra Seal. I I'd worked for another metal finishing company uh, in South Bend, about 30 miles from here, uh, and we needed impregnation services on some parts prior to plating them. Uh, so I met his dad, and uh, uh, we uh, we had a relationship, a business relationship. My family started this business in 1987 when I was five years old, and the office that's occupied by Steve was my playroom. Daycare wasn't really a thing, you know, so in the summertime, my, my mom would bring me to work with her when she'd run the office while my father was running his father's company half the time and then would spend his afternoons over here in Bridgman. By the time I was in second grade, I remember in classroom, um, kids were writing, you know, drawing pictures of what they wanted to be when they grew up. And there were guys that were, were drawn firemen and police officers. The girls were being doctors and veterinarians. And I drew a picture of my dad wearing his black lab coat. And I said, I want to go to work for my dad. That whole loading bench was, was the workbench in the basement of the house I, I was born in and he had that loading press there. So the chair I'm sitting in was his loading chair and that bench was the, the loading bench. It was actually the, the same loading press that I started banging out the, the first prototypes that launched Boss. And he'd come back from a, a, uh, a goose hunt with his son and, and you know, he said, you know, he had had really good luck. He had loaded all his own shells and had actually done that for several years and had gotten you know, the, the guides were like, hey, you know, you've got some killer product here. You know, when, next year when you come, will you, you know, make enough for us? And he had come back from a hunt, had dropped off shells to the to the guides, and, and he had had a you know, successful hunt. And he came to my office, and I had a whiteboard in there, and he said, what do you think about making shotgun shells? Boss is an e-commerce direct-to-consumer business. We have a manufacturing side that produces the shell, and then Boss sells the finished product. We make a superior shell for upland waterfowl, and that's our niche in the marketplace. You know, we have the best of the best. Well, we took on a different stance than a lot of companies might, but we initially really wanted to be consumer direct, so with that, there was a couple of reasons to do that. One, it could keep a price down. There wasn't a retailer taking a third of the markup. We could make a really quality product at a lesser cost to the consumer. And also by being direct to consumer, we're able to keep that narrative in our court. The shells, the biggest difference, which really piqued my interest was, it wasn't tungsten, it wasn't steel, it wasn't lead. So when we started with just the bismuth shell, you know, it, it was popular, but then, you know, Brandon continued on the path of, okay, well, what was the best shotgun shell ever made? And so I had overheard just a few different conversations about, well, we know that lead is, is the, probably the most superior metal to use. Okay, well, what did they do to lead to make it even better? Well, they copper plated it. And so I remember overhearing that conversation and out walks Brandon out of the back into the shop area. And not four hours later, out come bismuth pellets that were copper plated. If you look at the periodic table, bismuth is the next thing closest to lead. So you've got lead, bismuth, steel. So you're right there in between of where that was to me, okay, I'm a 20 gauge shooter. I can shoot this smaller gauge 
less recoil, but still have more pellets downrange that are more efficient. You know, I love old school stuff. I got to see birds get shot with lead. The very, you know, some of my very first hunts I got to go on with my dad, I'd, I'd see that. When I got back into waterfowl hunting in college and steel was the standard, the performance wasn't there. And there wasn't a cost-effective alternative that could give the same results. So that led me to the, the coming up with a business model of saying, okay, if I want to make a cool product, how can I get this thing to market economically? Of the days we were actually buying business shot, you know, already manufactured to, okay, we're going to buy small 1,000 pounds or 2,000 pounds of bismuth and a few hundred pounds of tin to now we buy it by the truckload. Now we're into a, a larger scale production with some of the best machines on the planet pumping out massive amounts of shells. Our capacity's growing immensely and we're really proud of um, how quickly we're able to adapt and keep up with the demand that caught on like wildfire and I don't think any of us expected us to move as much product as quickly and grow as quickly as we did, but we're, we're proud to say we've kept up with it. These machines behind me are honestly the best in the industry. They're BSN from Italy. They're amazing. They're just the fastest in the industry. They're the best. The capacity that those machines build and the efficiencies that we gained, you know, started off hand pressing, and then you went to big machines and you guys saw them and they, they can run a lot of shells per day. So we have capacity to be able to produce product in a real quick time. Every shotgun shell just gets double checked, triple checked, and they're all just perfect. It's really grown drastically since the very beginning started out in his old shop where he does all the anodizing and metal plating. And now it's come full circle to having its own building to where there's two buildings. There's a manufacturing facility and then an office facility with a warehouse. So it's grown from just almost something that started in a garage to, all right, we're, we're, we have our own space now and we're still continuing to try to grow that. When we started, when we first had the conversation in front of the whiteboard, the concept was, you know what, if we could sell just a couple hundred thousand shells, it would cover the cost of one or two hunts a year, you know, and it would, that was what, that was, gonna, that was the goal, right? And then after that first year and we saw the response, I mean, it's been a vertical trajectory since then. You know, we've got the best customer service. I think we got the best product. We got the best way of distributing it to, to the, the end user. So we pride ourselves on shipping same day. And we answered the phone, right? Not too many places you can call and get somebody on the phone or talk to Brandon or talk to me or see Dirk at an event. One of the things that's sort of a pillar in Boss is we're still human. Like, it's the human factor, having that human element, being able to write a handwritten thank you note and send care packages to people is really important. You know, it's real, it's legit, it's an honest product, it's built by the best people in the country, and it's something that everyone that's involved with it has, it's, a, it's become a passion of theirs. Conservation is passion, right, as well. I mean, if you're gonna be outdoors, you wanna take care of the outdoors, right? It's kinda like your house. You wanna have a nice house, you wanna have a clean, and that's what we do in the environment. It's non-toxic. So non-toxic was a big thing for us also. The anti-lead initiative is the most important to me just because that next generation is so important to me. So I think that, you know, with our work with Ducks Unlimited and Delta Waterfowl, and we sponsor all kinds of youth hunts and donating as far as other 501c3s go, just keeping that next generation in mind and educating them up. Developing young minds into outdoorsmen and building a culture around this industry that's gonna be real wholesome. Well, I jokingly say that the mission here is get shit done. You know, that, that's what we do. Um, and we have a lot of fun in the process. So, you know, I'm, I'm not a front office kind of guy. I don't sit down and, you know, dream up fancy words to put together to make mission statements and that whole thing. 
I kind of like to think I inspire by, by being out on the floor and, and having the, the personal relationship. So what I like to think is the goals that everyone has, even though the, the end goal is to grow this company, offer the best customer service, the best product, you name it, everything, check all those boxes. But I'm more focused on, on my people achieving their personal goals. There's something about the way that Brandon leads a team, and he has a very cool way of seeing things in people that they don't necessarily see in themselves. And then sort of just looking you straight in the face and saying, you can do quite literally whatever you set your mind to. And if you want to lead the company, if you want to be the best customer service agent on planet Earth, if you want to be a ballistics genius and work in the manufacturing plant, Tyler and myself are perfect examples of people that were, you know, sort of little seeds and got planted when we first started here and have grown into these really awesome people who now see what Brandon saw in us and are able to deliver even better results as employees and people in general. I know that he's found a lot of value in parts of me that I didn't realize I had. And he has a really great way of building these teams, pulling out the best of people, giving them a chance to find that best part of them and shine. We became not just friends, but we became family. And, and that's, I think, why we've been as, as successful as we have been, is because everybody here, you know, he sets, he, he sets a direction, you know, and you know, that compass needle's pointed one direction, and then we're all pulling in that direction. I mean, that's, it, it's amazing to see how everybody takes and, um, it, 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 you know, jumps on board that, that runaway freight train and, you know, we go. So. I wanted to build a product that, that I was proud of, that my people were proud of, that offered stable employment and growth for everyone involved in the project. Um, but the main thing is just have fun and, and create more opportunity and help other people achieve their goals. And if a shotgun shell can do it, then, then I don't care where it goes.